Now in this last part of the question then, we're asked to factorise f of x completely. And in the previous part, we found that k was minus 1. So the first thing I want to do is substitute k as minus 1 into f of x. And if we do that, we've got for the first bracket, well that's going to stay the same, 3x minus 2. And for the second bracket, we've got x minus the minus 1. So in other words, x plus 1. And then we've got the minus 8 on the end. And to factorise this, what I could do is expand the bracket here in the usual way. We'll have 3x squared. Then we've got plus 3x, then minus 2x, and then minus 2. And then we have the minus 8 on the end. Gather together like terms, we've got just the 3x squared. 3x minus 2x, well that's going to be plus x. And minus 2 minus 8, that's going to be minus 10. Now we can factorise this in the usual way. A couple of brackets here. It'll be a 3x and an x to give us the 3x squared. Two numbers that multiply together to give minus 10. Well, it could be many things like a 5 and a minus 2, or a minus 5 and a 2, or 10 and minus 1, and minus 1 and 10. But if you play around with a few ideas, what you find is that it's minus 5 and 2. We've got our 3x squared, then we're going to get 6x minus 5x. 6x minus 5x is the x. And then minus 5 times 2 is the minus 10. Okay, so there's f of x factorised, and that brings us now to the end of this question.